we're back it's another day and uh trap line's been pretty stagnant the last uh three or four days here we haven't had any action at all uh dirt holes are still setting pretty my beaver traps haven't touched anything in a week and uh, i don't know what uh, i caught one beaver there's got to be another one in there i really want to keep those sets set until i get that other beaver but uh, there's a few things you can be doing around here this time of year especially since we got this nice weather and we have some snow on the way uh, there's these crab apple trees that i want to get rid of right here in the corner of the strip food plot and right now is a great time to cut these down uh you know the deer will be able to chew on the buds and stuff and uh we'll go ahead and drag them out of here in the spring but uh just a few different things that you can do this time of year that can really help you out I want to cut down this one right here these these four probably that one that one that one and that one we'll leave a few over there and then uh probably cut up some of that stuff but i know i gotta be careful there's some barbed wire weaved in and out of there a little bit but there's the hunting shanty and a lot of times the deer will come out right behind all these things and you got an obstructed view of them and I'd rather just be able to kill them if I want to kill them. And these really don't uh, help much for this food plot. And this is actually really good soil right in here too. So once I cut these down, uh, maybe this summer we can rip those root systems out and we'll turn this whole area right here into food plot as well. So I'm gonna cut that one out too that almost obstructed dad's shot at the bully eight this year that's a little apple tree but it's totally crap it's not ever going to produce any apples if it does it'll be two or three it's just not a good tree that's a good apple tree though with the rock at the base of it that one produces apples this one produces apples and that one does uh let's get rid of these buggers here when I cut these down, I'm gonna cut them down semi-high. So uh, this summer, if I get in here with an excavator or something, I have uh, a good stump to work with to pry it out of the ground.
Well, I went and told the old chain put the dust on me and I don't have any my chainsaw tools with me to get it back on, but I accomplished what I wanted for the most part. We got all these uh, trees cut off. I left some pretty good stumps to pry on this summer, but it would be nice because the deer can come and browse on all these uh, treetops now. They're nice and easily accessible. You'll be surprised uh, this spring when I come, you won't believe all the deer tracks and scat that'll be right under these treetops and maybe even a shed or two. We'll see. I still haven't decided on what I'm going to do with this tree yet. This is an apple tree, but it's all... It's really messed up. It doesn't produce many apples at all. And uh, it's kind of right in the middle of where I'm gonna wanna turn the food plot as well. So I probably end up cutting that down too. We'll see. It's a good job done though. We have uh, a bunch of trees that I need to do this with at our upper farm too. We're gonna extend that food plot a little bit up there in the middle and uh, there's some nuisance crab apple trees that need to go, so we'll uh, go up and do that here at some point as well. But I think I'm gonna wrap this video up. It was a pretty crappy video, to be honest with you. I didn't have much action here this week, but uh, I do have, I checked a bunch of trail cameras and I'm just gonna put a ton of trail camera footage at the end of this from this past uh, uh, week here. So hopefully you enjoy that. We had some good, uh, some good young bucks uh, coming up and I'll be excited to go uh, look for their sheds here in a month or so. So thanks for watching. I'll be heading back to Ohio here soon with a crossbow and uh, I'm trying to get a game plan together on those on those big deer out there, but it's tough. There's no snow and cold weather to, to really push them to uh, feed right now. They're super nocturnal, but we do have snow coming at the end of this week that I'm really looking forward to and uh, getting back out there. So. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll have more videos and better videos coming soon.